Hello travelers, this is Alan Paul and welcome back to No Man's Sky. So we're going to do a little short video here today. Uh, this is regarding the Anomaly X, not Expedition. I almost said Expedition, wrong word completely. Obviously we're going to do the, uh, whatever's going on in the Anomaly today in order to get some extra quick silver. I, my brain is completely fried today. I'm not even sure what to do anymore. So uh, you can see I'm in my regular system here. We're going to go ahead and turn on the multiplayer because that's what we do when we go to the anomaly these days. We're on my uh, Star Destroyer, the Death's Head 2. Or is it the 10? What do I, I don't even know what I named it anymore. In my gallery, of course, of collections. And we're going to make our way down to our starship and head over to the anomaly. Um, I like a lot of open space, so if you're wondering why it's so stinking far away, well, that's the way things just worked out, okay? Okay, let's keep going. Gotta get my steps in. Come on now. Alrighty, we're down at the landing bay. What do we choose as our ship today? Hmm. You know, I haven't really flown my living ship in a while. Maybe I should go with that one today. Uh, I'm gonna get a squiddy one of these days, I think, personally. Uh, I mean, I love my solar ships, of course, and yeah, the Golden Vector, gotta love it. Um, got a cargo hauler, and that's back in the day when we were thinking to ourselves, hey, we really need to uh, make sure we keep a cargo hauler around with all that extra inventory. But with all the inventory space that Hello Games gave us, well, you know, we really don't need it anymore. So I'm beginning to wonder whether I'm going to keep it or not. Um, picked up this fighter, love it. I don't think I've renamed it yet. I've left, I've left it as the Ruthless Mistress. I kind of like... I kind of like the name a lot, but let's go ahead and take our living ship. Why not? It's not fully upgraded, but, you know, it'll get by. Oh, it looks like our orientation is facing the planet again. How neat. So, as appropriate with the new cloak that I'm wearing here, let's fly our nice living ship next to this living frigate. Look how gorgeous that beauty is, huh? Let's take a quick peek. Let's pull a pull back here. That is just pretty cool, isn't it? Gotta love it. Absolutely gotta love it. Let's tilt a little bit and get a better view of this thing. Gosh, that thing is just so crazy looking. I love the glow in it on the nighttime side. And all the other living sh living frigates we've got in there. Absolutely love it. Alrighty. Well, enough uh, shenanigans. Let's go ahead and head out and pull in our anomaly and meet some of the friends that might be on board. Yeah, and as you can see, my, uh, my living ship has a little bit of a gas problem going on there. Sorry about that. Aperture, nice name. Really like elite style, very nice. And here we are. Get a better view of this sucker, huh? Got nice colors to it. I love the colors to this shit. Anyway, moving on. And I'm loving the cloak. Really do love this. This is an awesome cloak. With my color scheme, it really just really, really brings out the shine on it. And I love how the center emblem for the living ship in the center of it glows like that. That is just really cool. Anyway, get that from the uh, Quicksilver store over here. Just so you can keep that in mind. All right, let's go over here to the Nexus and see what's happening. Exhuming the Ancients. Well, I don't see the Nexus mission in here. But you know what? Let's go ahead and do Exhuming the Ancients and see what we got going on. Unearthing Ancient Bones. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's only going to help in the end. We take a look here, look at the log, and we see that our universal community research progress has passed Tier 1, and we're getting into the Tier 2. Oh, it isn't quite. Kind of trying to take a look there. I think we passed Tier 1. Let's take a look. Let's see what's available over here, because I am curious. I don't have much in the way of Quicksilver left. I'm really going to work on that. Let's take a quick peek. So we just got that. This unlocks a tier one, so we're not able to get it yet. We're almost there. So that, the strip coral and the aquatic 
colony is what we're looking for. Uh, the strip coral looks really, really cool. I'm looking forward to maybe getting that uh, armored an uh, anemone. Da -da 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 -da. Anemone. Anyway, moving on. So let's take one more peek here. I'm sure all of us are beginning to wonder where this... Oh, there it is. The weekend mission. There it is. So, foe of my foe, rescue a stranded life form. Oh, this is always so much for fun. I love doing that. So, let's go ahead and start this. I'm going to see if I can grab it. I don't always like other people joining in the mission because it just makes it a little bit of a, a, a hassle because they get the rewards while you get, you know, get to do all the work. But let's go ahead and do the work and get this started, shall we? We're going to initialize the mission. We're going to start the mission. And yes, we're on our way. Let's jump in the old ship here, foe of my foe. On to the lonely companion. Off we go. Let's see what system we end up in. Crazy looking ship. I don't often fly living ships. I'm not the hugest fan of it. Uh, you, you may have watched some of my other videos and I've talked about how I really, really like the solar sail ships the most. They are my favorites by far. Exotic ships, I think, are very close second. Um, and then after that, any fighter. I love any of the fighters. I really like the ones like the uh, Ruthless Mistress I have on board. They look really, really good. Oh, there we go. All the coordinates. Got to move a little bit before he shows up. There he goes. And he's over here someplace. Let's get our stranded life form. So this is how it works. We're going off to, after the stranded life form, who's found himself stranded on a, on a blood planet. Activated cadmium is the item of choice here. Looks like we accidentally selected our buddy over there. Not sure who that was, but there we go. And off to the atmosphere we go. Stranded life form? Mm -hmm. Alright. Looks like he's actually over there. So even though it says it to start over there, approximate location, we can see that there's a crashed ship right here. And, oh, nice little solar ship you got going on there, buddy. Oh, one of these planets, monochromatic. All right. And we're going to ignore the buried technology. That's actually a nice looking ship you got there. I love how it floats in the air, even though it's broken. Very nice. Very nice. What colors it is. All right. Oh, it's a traveler. Fascinating. Traveler flinches. They stare at me oddly as though they can not They can see right through me. That's odd because I can see right through you, pal. In despair, I'm guessing he says traveler. Traveler Eus shows me their ship's shattered communicator control unit. This part is far beyond repair, but it could be but it could potentially be replaced. We leave. So now we get to look for salvaged parts. So to do so, we're going to hit the uh, in the in this case I'm using PC, uh, straight on keyboard and mouse, folks. We're going to use the F button to do scanning, and it's going to find me something to look for. And it's actually pointing right at that. So we want to look for buried technology in this case. So we could dig that up, but we're not going to. Why is that? Because now we can just go right up to it and pick it up. So and we have an encrypted communicator control unit, but is it the right one? We're going to analyze it, so we have to go into our inventory, find it, and do an analysis of it. Now, in some cases, <laughs> it looks like I found a encryption terminal immediately. So I found the unit literally sitting under his butt underneath the surface there. But let me give you a little clearer picture, clearer picture of this. In some cases, you may not find the unit immediately. You're going to have to go from place to place to place to place in order to find it. Um, 
and you'll dig up something else, it won't be it, and you'll be attacked by some random sentinels, usually two to three at a time. And you just take out those sentinels, they're just kind of wacky, whack jobs type sentinels, so you just take them out and you move on. No big deal. So we gotta head over there to get it decrypted. It's 13 minutes away on foot. We'll go ahead and take my uh, living organism ship here and take a ride over. I wonder if I have ways of recharging my neural assembly. Oxygen, huh? Okay. And it should be right over here. Decryption terminal is right down below. Now usually what happens is when you get here to decrypt it, you're going to be attacked. Heads up, okay? See? It just said, warning, corrupted sentinels may try to attack you. So I'm going to pull out the weapon of choice. Let me go to my multi-tool. What am I on? I've got my scatter blaster this time. Uh, I'm going to replace it real quick with the bolt caster. Because lately I'm finding the bolt caster has been a pretty cool weapon. As you may have seen, may have seen on one of my videos I just published a little bit ago, it is actually a blast to use. All right, and it loads really, really fast. So we parked further away, purposely, because as soon as we approach, we should be under attack. There we go. bad right this is a really awesome weapon the best part about it is you just hold it down and when you reload watch this I'm reloaded already instantaneous gotta love it anyway moving on let's decrypt this sucker and get done with this so we just go to the terminal as if we're gonna trade terminal status active please present compatible device so we submit the uh, the encrypted communicator control unit Communicator control unit detected. Pairing. Key downloaded. Syncing. Device decrypted. And guess what? We're almost done. Good golly, that's a big sucker. I, thought, I heard him thumping earlier. I had no idea that's how big he was. Oof. That's a big boy. That is one big boy. Almost worth wanting to get one of those, man. How many animals do I have? Let's take a peek. Uh, looks like I've got five. Now this one doesn't have the Diplo on it. Oh wow, we can get a lot more. How much does that cost me? 10,000? Yeah, it's worth it. Why don't we try to befriend that fellow? He's huge, and I'm just... Oh, there's one with a... Ooh, which one do I want? I don't know, what do you think? Should we go with this one? Those are really cool, but that other one, he had a feather on top. Where'd he go? I think he's over that way. Oh, there's one in the distance over there. Let's go after him. Sorry, gotta do it. Hey, how you doing? That one right up there. I want to take a look at that one a little closer. Watch him attack me and eat me. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Good grief, he's further away than I thought. That tells you how big he is. Oh, good. Incoming storm. It's superheated, so... Wow, look at that. Yeah. Is that... Yeah, it's the same unit. Yeah, he's just... Good grief, I can't even catch him. Come on, baby. Get over here. You gotta wait for the storm to kick up the full gear here. I literally can't catch that guy. Ah. 
bagunçaram. There we go. That is awesome. Sama Sama. Uh, I could have picked a better name, my friend. Let's get some love going on there. Give him another creature pellet and get them all full up to speed. Oh, you gotta ride them. Come on now. Look at that. Is that glorious? You can't even see me on there. Let's see what he's like when he runs. Now, see, I thought he'd be a little bit faster. All right, where's my ship? Ship, ship, ship. There it is. All right, there we go. Maybe once we get him on a straightaway, he'll walk faster? Okay, see, I thought he would be a little bit quicker. Maybe there's something I can do. when it, Once he lays an egg, maybe what I can do is I can look into um, adjusting the egg in some way to make him faster. That would be great. So, something to look into. I know if you if you never actually had a pet before, you haven't done anything to the egg, the eggs are just the anomaly. Once we get up there real quick, we turn in this uh, uh, mission. We'll go ahead and I'll just show you where that is real quick if you haven't found it on your own yet. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's exit this. God, I look tiny on there. Look at that. God, grief, he's huge. He just stepped over my ship. My gosh. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Give you another pat. Another pat. Great guy. All right. Let's get out of here. All right. We're going to get back to that guy and return his part. He is over here. Oh, okay. Can't see anything. Let's get up a little higher. There we go. And we'll get back to our stranded traveler. There we go. All right, buddy. Guess what we got? The traveler flinches. They stare at me oddly as though they can see right through me. Didn't we already go over this before? We give them the part. And that's it. Hey, uh, yeah, like you're welcome and the ship and everything's gone. And that's why I hate those missions. Just no, there's no politeness there. You know, you could have at least give me a hug. You know, give me a nanite, anything. You know, eh, whatever. It's all right. It's all right. We're not mad at him. Okay, let's pull in the anomaly again. Shunk. Let's fly into the giant eyeball in space. Thunk. Alrighty. Lots of ships arriving all at the same time. Let's see if we don't get jammed up in here. Oh, that was a nice ship over there on the right. I like that. Take a look at that here in a second. Oh, that's pretty nice too. I like that. It's very much like my Ruthless Mistress. This one is kind of sweet. I love the spinners. I always love these spinning engines on the back. Very pretty. I like that. Nice looking ship. All right, let's turn in our, our mission. There we go. And we're going to complete said mission. And there we go. And we have helped the group as a whole. Community research. See, it just bumped up ever so slightly, which wasn't a mu not that much. So, good deal. Good deal. But with all the people doing this, I figure we'll have this thing unlocked. And all three of them unlocked. It's probably within another week tops. So I spoke about the egg. You take the egg to this little gestation unit right here, an egg sequencer. And when you put your egg in here, you put your egg up here, you can add items from your inventory in here to give a growth hormone, a gene splitter, which can change how they, what their anatomy is. You know, bigger, it can not necessarily make them bigger or smaller, but it could, this is what the bigger and smaller is. This will change their growth big time. Um, gene splitter, it changes what they look like. It could change um, 
certain aspects of how the how, how it looks. It kind of makes them or morphs them into something else. Uh, dye injector can you change the coloring of your creature, and then you have an ability to change their personality. So to make them kinder, more uh, more uh, subservient to you, uh, they obey you better, if you will. So or they'll just be more likely to run away any the first chance they get. So. Anyway, that is the anomaly mission for the day with a little bit of a side quest into animals. Uh, wasn't intending to do that. Hey, a squiddy. Got to get me one of those. Another kind of one of the rarer ships. I'm thinking about getting one again. Uh, haven't had one in a long time. But anyway, folks, really appreciate you being here with me today. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky with Alon Paul. Um, Anomaly missions are all for the uptake here, for, every, for for the taking, if you will, for anybody to grab onto, and it really contributes to us all as a whole. Plus, you get a good amount of quick silver out of it. So feel free to grab that in the anomaly, and uh, we will see you in the next anomaly update. Thank you very much, folks. Take care.